Hello everyone, and today we are back for another Lumion Legacy PvP video, and we're going to be using the full-on weather team. So we have all five of the weather setting Lumions. We have Solbers Cracklola, who has its Solburst ability as its weather setting ability, and Cosmillion, that can change into all of the weathers with adaptable. So, we're going to see how this goes. I'm not sure how this team will do. There is a Celestine. That's not something you see every day. There's a Solburst Gastro, which is rough because I don't have many melee attackers. So, we're going to try to spike that. We might have just lost already. Hopefully, that's not the case, but that's not looking so hot. I'm going to bring you to at least get rid of your ability. I think it's must needed. And then I'll bring, yeah, Billiforge. I'll definitely bring Cosmillion because it looks amazing in this battle. I'll bring Dilutrix for the rain. And then I think out of these three, I'll bring Plasma. No, I'll bring Crackalola. I'm bringing Crackalola because of the. in case it's set up hazards. Okay, so he leads off with Thawman to anti lead my Dilutrix. I'm gonna Feral Blast you and just try to get rid of you right off the bat. Honestly? Oh, okay, he's not secret ability. Goodbye, Thawman. We're off to a very good start then. That is a very good start. Even if it was Cycle Blast, I don't think it would have O-code me though, because the thing is with Thawman, it only has 108 ranged attack. So it would have to be running very smart in mind essence, and even then that might not be enough. So I think I would have lived anyway. There's Luminami in the rain. Instead, we're just gonna do you. Uh, oh yeah, let's get rid of your ability. Let's get rid of your ability. We'll go into the Tyronix. And then we're gonna Spite. So yeah, the, I have all the weather setting abilities. So I can pretty much use all of the weather, which is pretty funny. I actually haven't tried this before. So it's gonna be a very cool thing to try. I'm gonna Spite to try to get that Gastro Glow. Because he must have brought Gastro. I don't see why he doesn't bring Gastro in this kind of team. Goes for the Flash and Flee, which is a smart play. Thankfully, I underspeed the Luminami, which is amazing for me. You can't go in the Gastro because the fog's up. I have to keep Tronix alive just specifically for that. Even that, oh, the problem is, is that the weathers go down. Oh no, I brought Crackalola though, but Crackalola doesn't do that much damage. Which is rough. I'm gonna go into... Yeah, let's go to Crackalola. I don't care about Crackalola not having its ability. That's not the end of the world to me. I rather just want to go into this, just wall of Knight. He goes for the Slapdown, which is not gonna do that much at all. Yeah, almost nothing. We're gonna go for the Fire Breath. So yeah, this is good. And the thing that's good about having normal Crackalola is that I... it's one of the few Lumians on the team that doesn't set another weather. Oh, I didn't think it was going to go Luminami that turn, to be fair. Didn't think it was going to do it that turn. I do get a burn now, which is amazing, because I think this is a melee Luminami. I'm, I'm just going to stay in and go for Dark Surge, because I think this is a melee Luminami. Okay, don't you also have Maroon. That's kind of bad, but it's not the end of the world. I can get a Dark Surge off, potentially get rid. So, he's a mixed one. He's a mix. Get a little bit of damage with Dark Surge. I'm now going to go back to Ronix to put the fog back up. And that's so uh, Luminami's Power Napper doesn't work. Let's see if he knows what I'm doing. Because he's going to go for the Flash and Flay. That pivot HP back. But he's not going to get any HP back because of the fog. Which is awesome. Nope, he just went for Maroon. Which, okay, that's fine. We are in a pretty good position here, actually. We can go for a Flash and Flea for free, honestly. Flash and Flea is free. So yeah, let's do that. Let's go for the Flash and Flea, and let's start to do some work here. I'm still scared about potentially Gastro, but I have Tyronix at pretty high HP. He went into Celestine, which is awesome. That is awesome, because I can go cause Million and go for Peace of Mind. Oh no, but I am weak to light. Never mind, I am weak to light. But, I have, I don't know, is this the right play? 
Uh, I don't think it is. I think I messed up. I will go for peace of mind, though. Because I do want to see what you do with your Celestine. Yes, you can hit me. It does have light speed, which does nothing, by the way. So you know what? I'm going to stay in. I'm going to stay into this matchup. Because since it used light speed that turn, I'm going to see if I can try to break through this Celestine. So there's a Thunder Blast, which I miss. Of course I do. I love missing attacks. I love missing attacks. And it also has Disperse, meaning if I miss too many more times, I might be screwed. Although, Fog is about to end now, so that could save me. There we go. I hit my Thunder Blast, and Cosmillion gets the KO. I now return as a Typeless type, because the weather is up. And now... I have a couple options here. I can either go another weather up and then use Cosmillion again, or just stay in at plus one. I think it just depends on what this person does. So, let's see. He can't go Luminami because he knows I have Thunder Blast. He doesn't know what my other move is. That's scary. That's scary. That's scary. That scares me. Yeah, maybe I should have run the Fire-type move on this, just specifically for that, so I can get rid of its ability. Yeah, maybe that was the better play. I can't set up Water. I can go Crackle- no, I can't. Philip Forge has melee attacks, though, so... I think I'd be okay. I'd have to go Tronix, though. I have to go Tronix here and get rid of that Fog. It's kind of unfortunate, honestly. But I gotta set the fog up to get rid of its ability. Landslide. It actually has defensive capabilities. Okay. Are you not Soul Burst? It's gotta be Soul Burst. Come on. I, I don't think anything else on his team is. Either that or he's just not TP Tray. That could be another thing. It might not be TP Tray. Which, if that is the case, I hope it is, because otherwise, I lost to this. Okay, no, it is TP Train. It did go for the Soul Burst. That's massive, because I went for a Spike this turn, and now, Frost Beam, it's quad weak to Frost Beam now, instead of normally weak, because usually, Insulate, it saves its life. But in this situation, Fog's up. His, dis his ability is disabled. How much does a stratagem do to me, though? War Blast? Nothing. And I do hit my Spike, too. Awesome. I needed that. Now I go for Frost Beam. Because he's actually quad weak to Frost Beam, but not normally weak. I gotta save Tyrannus, Tyronix specifically for the Gastro. Yep, he is trying to stall. I don't even think this Oko's. Because it's a coverage move, and not like any normal attacking move. Okay. Okay, okay, I'm gonna get down gradually. I am gradually getting it down. I can go for a rest later. There's another Frost Beam. Alright, we're going for another Frost Beam here. The Gastro can't really stay in, because if he stays in, he's grilled. Yeah, he has to swap. Alright, he has to swap. Fortunately, it has to be the Serenite. Like, I probably could have predicted that, but I had no other play. The Gastro was going to beat me otherwise. It goes for Sharing Steel. Its ability is still disabled, thankfully. Do I go for the wa Do I go for the Delidrix play and go for Zipsat, maybe? I can't go for Zipsat. And I don't want Weather Up. I'll go for Crackalola. And then I think I'll Soul Burst with Crackalola. Mm -hmm. Zerg Steel, alright. I'll Soul Burst with Crackalola. There's a crit, you'll love to see it. I'll Soul Burst. Yeah, I'm gonna Soul Burst. Rejuvenate. This might be a bad play, though. The Soul Burst Gastroke's just gonna heal back up. Actually, will even if it does, that does send in Billiford for free. That will send in Billiforge for free. Which is something we could definitely take advantage of. We're gonna Soul Burst, because I think this is the best time to do use it. 
I'm going to get Heat Up, which is going to boost my Fire-type attacks from Billiforge. So, that's massive. Getting Heat Up is a big deal for me, because that's going to get my Billiforge into the battle. I'm going to Rejuvenate to try to get a little HP back. I don't think it can KO me this turn. Goes for the slap down. That, that, that will do nothing. That yeah, does like zero. There's a Rejuvenate. And I'm just going to rest on this. Yeah, I might as well just rest on the Sirenai, honestly. You get my energy back. I could Dark Surge, but Dark Surge is very risky for him at this point of the game. He goes Luminami at this point. He's out of energy, though. Which means Dark Surge is free. And he's burnt. So... Dark Surge is free here, guys. Dark Surge is indeed free. Let's just try to get rid of this Luma. He might just try to keep it alive, which is smart. It is smart. Nope, he doesn't just keep it alive. Instead, the Luminami is dead. And my Crackalola has high energy and a decent amount of HP, too. So, Solbers Crackalola come in and clutch here. Yeah, probably one of the more underrated Solbers. It's not amazing, but... This thing has a lot of utility defensively, because it has great bulk on both sides, can Raging Flame melee attackers, can get rid of hazards, has Dark Surge, like, there's a lot of utility here with Crackalola, and that's what makes it pretty solid, honestly. Just a lot of utility with this. Hey, you have Bulk Up, so this is a Bulk Up Serenite. It's definitely an offensive. Shock that's not Drudge, but the Fire Breath is enough to KO the Serenite. I'm just going to go straight in the Bill of Forge because I know exactly what your Gastrog's going to do. Oh, but the problem is... Yeah, Heat's only on for one more turn. So, I go for the Dark... I go for Dark Surge here. Oh, it only went for... Okay, it went for the Landslide this turn. Okay, it went for the Landslide. We're going to be good. We're going to be fine. The fact that it went for a Landslide that turn is perfect. Because now he's out of energy. I can go for an Eruption. And that should KO the Gastro. Let's just get rid of this thing. Okay, no. It just landslided. We're good. It just landslided. It just landslided. It just landslided. That means we can go cause million. We can climb a cannon this thing twice. And we can win the match with this, I think. Oh, it's his last one anyway. We'll just climb a cannon then. I didn't want to go Bill of Forge in case he had one more in the back. So yeah, we'll just climb a cannon twice and that'll be it. Votes for the rest. And Cosmillion is going to come out with the dub. That was actually a very good first battle. Let's head into battle number two. All right, we're into battle number two now with the weather team. And I did replace Hydro Blast with Flare Blast. And that's so I can actually hit Silver Stroke with Tyronix because I have nothing else for it. That's the second Thaumon I have seen today. That's kind of funny. And I did already have a second battle, but I forgot to click record. So... That's kind of hilarious. So, unfortunately, that second battle has lost media now. So, very unfortunate. I even won the battle, too, with Deludrix. So, it's unfortunate that we lost it. Uh, I'm gonna bring you... No, I don't know. Your soul's rough. Your soul's bad news. Helvantic's rough, too, but... I don't want to bring Plasmoth, because there's a bunch of melee attackers. So, Plasmoth is a no brain. Uh, I'll bring Billow. Because Clutch Plushy is Clutch. I like myself a bit of Clutch Plushy. And I'll bring... So of course, Crackalola is again a good bring. So yeah, I'm going to lead off with my Pillow Forge. That'll be what I do. I have Clutch Plushy. With your soul. Oh, why did it have to be your soul lead? To be fair, your soul does not want to take this, but... Why did it have to be your soul lead? I'm going to Boiling Press because it does a lot of damage. He goes for the slap down right away. And does half my health. Rip. At least I got it down to half health. And I'm actually using Billiforge, which is good. So go for another Boiling Press. He'll go into Akalos, which takes a little bit of damage from a Boiling Press. Even if it's the other ability. So that's good. And yeah, it, oh, it takes damage from the heat. Let's go. It takes damage from heat. Problem. It looks like to be an offensive one. I think I don't know. I don't want to go crack. I'm weak to water. So I'm going to go Charonix and I'm going to pivot out, I think. I think that's the play. I don't want to take two Ice Hammers in the face, though. kind of sucks, but it's kind of how it is. There's a Wave Wrecker. 
Okay, it doesn't do that much. Tyronix is a god, guys. Tyronix is actually kind of okay. I'm now going to go for the Flash and Flay for Pivot. Because I kind of have to. Here comes the Pivot. Let's see what you do next. You can't go Seer Knight because I'll Pivot out. Plus, your ability is weakened anyway. If he goes Seer Knight, I'll go, Cly I'll go Cosmillion. I hope he goes Seer Knight. Because I'm clicking Flash and Flay. Ah, I didn't want that. Because I take extra damage. He's just damaging my Tyronix, and he's going to live that pretty easily, too. So we'll go into the U. We have to go into... We have to go into the Ludric. So now the rain's up. So rain's up. I now click Zip Zap for free. So we Zip Zap here. Boom! Zip Zap. And we Zip Zap into... Alvantic! Okay, we have something here. We have something here. We can go into Cosmillion. And we can Climate Cannon this thing. Alright, we can Climate Cannon this thing. I am weak to Baneful. And this could also be Specialty Boots. But, cl Climate Cannon is very clutch here. If he's not Boots, I outspeed. I'm willing to take this risk. Cosmillion is bulky enough to live a hit, and he knows that. That's why he's swapping. I wish it was an Aklos again, but it's not the end of the world. Actually, two Climate Cannons is enough to KO. I'm not risking a Thunder Blast missing, so I'm going for another Climate Cannon here. Climate Cannon is clutch. Awesome. So Aklos is out of the picture. That's a massive Lumion to have dead. You can't go Knight because of Climate Cannon. You can't really do it anyway, even if he has Boiling Press. What's his play here? Does he go Yersel? Their soul's weak. Well, not weak to Climate Cannon. He goes Thawman. The Thunderstrike me, I assume. I assume that's the Thawman's... I could disable its ability, though. But I don't want to lose that just specifically for that. I'm just going to go for the Flare Blast and do some damage. And I hit it. Oh, but my attack's weakened. But, hey. Hey. It's out of Foresight range now. So, that's good. It's out of Foresight range. So, back to a Typeless type. But yeah, it's out of Foresight range. Well, that's good. I kind of forgot about the nerfs fire types that take in the rain, but hey. It worked out there. Flare Blast again. And I hit another Flare Blast. I am out of energy, though. I need a wait at some point. If he goes your soul, I'm just attacking it. That's the problem. It's free your soul. It's free your soul real estate. And he knows that, so he's going your soul basically free your soul real estate here. I'm just climate canning because, yeah, I don't really have another play. It sucks, but that's the play I needed to do there. And I'm going to flail at you. Because, again, I don't really have another play. <laughs> I really don't legit have a play. He, he just priority me anyway. Okay. Now, how do we beat the Pillow Forge? No, no. How do we beat the Your Soul? Crackalola is the play then. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna Soul Burst. It does have Shadow Sprint. I'm gonna Soul Burst. Fire Breath. That should be enough to get rid of the Earth Soul. Even if it Shadow Sprints me, it's not gonna do that much damage. So, I feel. Yeah, he could predict the Soul Burst, but it's not gonna. Would it run Phantom Slash? Even if it does run Phantom Slash. I'm very robust, and I would live the hit anyway. I don't care about Soul Bursting here and taking a super effective hit. I just want to get the Your Soul off the field. If I can't get Your Soul off the field, it's going to sweep the floor. So it's going to sweep me. I have to do it. Low moment. My opponent just said low moment. Did he say that I made a mistake or him? Let's see. Oh, he made a mistake. Okay. All right. He made a mistake. I'll take it. And that should be enough with the heat. Glad to get hate back up. But problem is, is that the Lumion that I'm utilizing the weather team for is dead. But Thawman's dead, which is massive. Thawman's dead. Dursal's dead. Helvantic's still alive, but Helvantic doesn't do that much damage to me. 
I'm going to go for the soul move just to do as much damage as I can. It does have primal, but look at how much that does. That does li literally zero. Like, for super effective hit, it's actually impressive how much that does. I'm going to go for Rejuvenate this turn. He's going for another Primal Slash. Might crit. Okay, he didn't get it. Thank gosh. Now I can guarantee live a hit. I'll also be at a decent amount of HP unless it crits me. And even if it does, just get rid of the Helvantic. He's saying GG's. That's a Primal. Didn't crit. Soul Burst Crackalola has been the star of this video. So, yep, say goodbye to the crack. Say goodbye to Helvantic. Keats still up. He has one more Lumion left. What's his last Lumion? Seer Knight's his last... Okay, yeah. yeah I won this. Unless it has set up or Drudge or something. Unless it has Drudge or something. I was gonna go for Fire Breath. Oh, it does have Drudge. Oh, no, it has Drudge. It has Drudge. It has Drudge. Okay, that did a lot of damage, though, but it has Drudge. Okay... Alarm bells, guys. Alarm bells. Boiling press. Weather's up at least. Okay, yeah. we're, we're, we're fine. We're, we're, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We go for a rest. We'll go for another rejuvenate. We're going to play this as safe as we possibly can. Again, is this the second battle of Serenite as well? Like, oh my gosh, I feels like I'm, it feels like I'm looking through a mirror right now. Again, I just click rejuvenate again. I'm playing this as safe as I can because he clicked the drudge. He's not judging more, which is kind of shocking. There's a crit. That's why I play it safe. That's why you play it safe, because you can never know when the crit comes. Now, two fire breaths is enough to get rid of the Seer Knight, and even then, the Seer Knight will be almost out of energy. So, we're going to be in a very good position here. So, there's a fire breath that's going to get it down to the red. Oh, I just KO'd it all together. Let's head into battle number three. Battle number three with the weather team, and I want to bring in Whipple Drift. Problem is, it looks like another terrible battle for it. <laughs> I mean, three of these four, I mean, three of the seven, I fought four of the seven, yeah, five of the seven, five of the seven, six of the seven beats Whipple Drift, so I'm not bringing it. Sorry, Whipple Drift, you're just not good on these kind of teams, unfortunately. I do see you being very good, you and you being very good for the Hunter. Wintrix is the Lumion I do not want to see today. That is terrible. So I'm going to bring Cosmelian. Plasmoth could be good. If used right, Plasmoth could be good. I think I'm going to keep Billiforge back, I think. Yeah, we're going to keep Billiforge back. That will be what we do. We'll keep Billiforge back. Because we have so much crap. Goes into Dokamore. It set up hazards. He can quicksand me. The thing that's good is that fog's up, but it's range attacks anyway. I'm just going to go for spike. Play it safe. He could play Psychicle Traps, but I have Crackalola. So, there's a baffle. That's a great start for me, actually. That's a great start for me, because I get to spike something else. So, is he going to go Wintrix here? Sinogre! This isn't something you see every day, honestly. Yeah, Sinogre's not something you see every day. And of course I miss. That's brilliant. It's not like this is the kind of Lumion that I would want a spider or anything. It's not like Sinogre's the Lumion I would want a spider or anything. Yeah, I'm not... Yeah, we're kind of in trouble now. Spectral Burst, though, should still do a lot of damage. It does. That was a crit, by the way. Oh, I get a Range Defense Fall, though. Okay. It's going to spite me again, because that's what's going to do. I wish, I really wish I did not miss. I wish I did not miss my spike. He, he, he's two for two for his spike, too. So Nogre's still alive, but that's fine, because we can just set up another weather. We can just go in the plasma off and click flash and play. And then we have a matchup that we can utilize. So, that honestly, that might be what I do here. See, Thunderstorm will rage is on. We'll go for the Flash and Flay. And yeah. I outspeed Sinogre. So that's great for me. I can go for Flash and Flee for free. To get a free momentum. I hope he goes Wintrix. Please go. Oh, no, he wouldn't go Wintrix on this. The goat. What? Okay. He predicted that. I'll now go in the Cosmillion. And Cosmillion has... 
Thunder Blast. So, and the thing that's good is since I have the Thunderstorm up, the Thunder Blast is 100% accuracy while in that weather. So this should Oka Luminami with Stab and Bolt Shell. This should oh, never mind. Oh, wow. Okay. Everything in the world happened that turn. And yeah, Cosmillion. Very good. That was, that crit definitely mattered. But that also makes up the time that I missed my spike. So I guess that's kind of how it is. Wintrix isn't gonna save you. Wintrix is not gonna save you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna thunder blast. If I have the thunderstorm weather up, to be fair, I should have climate cannon, so I had four moves. But I just want to really make sure I can KO the Wintrix. Wow, Cosmillion being really good at this video is Cosmillion and Solbers Crackalola who've been the stars of this video so far. There's Doka. I don't know why I didn't go into this thing earlier, to be fair. Problem is that a lot of my Lumians are weak to the Doka. I don't have any other moves that can deal with this thing. Uh... Yeah, Flare, yeah, flare Blast is gonna totally help me. I think I just... I'm just gonna set up Fog, I think. Problem is that Doka outspeeds me. The problem is that Doka outspeeds me. So it's going to do a ton of damage to me. He might just Oko me here, honestly. He does. But now with the fog up, I can go back into Cosmillion. And now I have a different typing altogether. Now, I have a couple decisions to make. I think I'm just going to climb at Cannon and play it safe. Yes, yeah, so I'm, not, I'm not risking a miss. That does over half because of another crit. There's a baffle. So, Dokamori's low, which is good. He can't go into Hunter, because Flare Blast is a potential, and Hydro Blast are threats. He did go into it, though. Not to mention Power Jaw. Thing is, though, there's no reason to take unnecessary damage on Cosmillion when I can just go into Crackalola. There's no reason to take unnecessary damage. Like, that's the thing. There's no reason to take unnecessary damage on that when I have Silver's Crack Lola in the back. Oh, and I get combustible. Oh, no, I don't get combustible because of the fog. Dang it, fog. You screwed me. It's okay, though. Because I can go for a fire burst. I'm not soul bursting. I'm not going to soul burst. Ah, oh, I should have soul burst. I should have. I, I am soul bursting. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? No more Mr. Nice Guy, Mr. Hunter. No more Mr. Nice Guy. No more Mr. Nice Guy. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Think you can hit me with Hunter? I swear, if this Hunter flinches me five times in a row and I lose to this, that will be ridiculous. I'm soul bursting. You're not doing more damage to me than you need to be. I was thinking about trying to save this for later, but unfortunately that's not going to happen. The thing that sucks is that it buffs his Hunter, but... I think it's needed. I think the resist matters here. Just as long as I don't get flinched. And I do get the rejuvenate off. And now, we just fire breath. We'll just try to get rid of the hunter. Just try to get rid of this hunter. I'm still very worried about Wintrix, though. I am still relatively worried about Wintrix, though. Because Wintrix and Dokamore. I have a feeling his last one's Wintrix. Because if he brought Doka. So yeah. Oh no, it's said Ogre's his last one. We win this. We win this then, right? Yeah, we win this because the heat's up. We're in a good position. We're in a very good position here, actually. We have a lot of ways to win this, actually. An earthquake from Philip Forge, or, or from Dokamori, I mean, won't do enough to KO me. Yeah, Silver's Crackalola just wins again. So yeah, Silver's Crackalola is most certainly the star of this video. For the full-on weather team, Solver's Crackalula is the star of this video. And all of the battles, even the battle that I couldn't showcase because I did not click record, this thing just came in clutch. Now we go for the Fire Breath to get rid of the Hunter. And we win! Wow, we went 3 for 3 with the weather team, which is huge. Because I honestly think using all the weathers on the same team is very, like, inefficient. But still, it definitely shows that using... 
every single weather in the game could work if you play it right. But still, you gotta be very careful. I'd recommend that just run one or two weathers on a team and not run all five. Because running all five makes team building really limited. So yeah, that's the full-on weather team. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see y'all all later. Bye-bye!